There you go. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, John Watson, obviously, some kind of mnemonic device that he uses to remember the teams. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, today is obviously a very big day for us, uh, but it's also a big day for new London Mayor Ken Livingston. Uh, Ken and the GLA are having their inauguration party at the Tate Modern Gallery. And here's a, here's a graphic that we prepared of... Uh, <coughs> there's the world, there's England, there's London, and... Uh, and there you go, there's the tape right there. Uh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is, extraordinarily, we're going to go live to Joanne Coburn, who is a political reporter for BBC London. Uh, Joanne, there you are. Hello, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. I'm enjoying the sunshine. That's, that's very nice. First of all, thank you very much for, for coming on our silly programme, especially on our first show. I'll invoice you. <laughs> Well, there's no need to get snotty, Joanne. Uh, but listen, well, thank you very much, because you're not really exactly talking to David Dimbleby here. Now, now first of all, looking at, looking at the background, where exactly is this party that we're hearing so much about? Well, behind me here, you can see the beautiful Tate Modern, great piece of modern technology. Right. Um, free entry to London. It was opened about six weeks ago, and right by the River Thames here. So it's a beautiful location. Right. There have been people wandering around, sitting in the pub, looking out over the river, sitting on the grass here, and having a very nice day. But where... Excuse Excuse me, but where exactly are people going in? Do we uh, have... They are going in just over this away, basically. Can, can we have a look? Yes, we can have a look. If you follow me over here, through those trees, which right. you can't really see, people are just going into the tape model. Just, wow, what Believe a, what a, me, what a great camera it. position we've got. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance that we can get closer to the actual action? Because really, frankly, you could have been in here doing this. No, I couldn't. You can't see the tape modern from your studio. <laughs> well, Remember, you're absolutely everybody right. Everybody is inside. Right. They're just starting We're, their drinks and food. And Joe, listen, thank you. Are, are, you, are you willing to sit around for us for, uh, for, for a few more minutes and we'll come back and check in with you? Yes, is, is there any you. chance you could collar somebody and just kind of bring them along just to interview, just to give us a sense of the party yeah, atmosphere? Of I'll go and get someone. Thank you very much. All right. There you go. There's Joe there, our political reporter. Good <laughs> <He's> ruin. Good <laughs> ruin. Anyway, uh, now what's happening here? So it's also our first night, as we've been telling you constantly since the show began. So let's have a quick look and see how the preparations are going for our own party out in uh, Red <laughs> Tea Bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, things are really swinging, aren't they? Um, OK, so now another thing that we do on the programme is that we... Um, part of the thing is that we're sort of wandering around and finding bits of videotape and nonsense that we found you. Um, this we saw earlier today. We have no idea what it means, but we thoroughly enjoy looking at it. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> Some kind of Zimbabwe Millennium Wheel. That's the best we could come up with. <laughs> but it's very, very entertaining. Uh, okay. What happened there? What happened? What happened? Oh, he fell over. He rolled over. Uh, let's have a look at this. Thank you very much, Lee. Um, now, obviously, we're very excited about seeing our name in print for the first time, because this is uh, Man Day, and it's very odd when you look at the... Uh, when you look at the listings, because then you kind of become official. Here we go. <coughs> Here's this week's Radio Times. Here's today's. Here we are. There's the 11 o'clock show, which is where we're on, <coughs> RDA. And at uh, 1 o'clock for the repeat, we're rad. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Uh, so far be it for us to make the Radio Times look stupid. Uh, for the rest of the show, we just, we just want to change that. So we'll just be, we'll just be rad. So, so, so thank you, Radio Times. Thank, thank you very much. I, Rad. It's some kind of Bill and Ted listing from 1987. <laughs> Bodacious. Now, uh, oh God, yes, this also prompted us to have a look at some billings for some other shows. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very interesting to see how shows sell themselves. Thank you very much, Lee. No, I'm not using it. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but it's very interesting to see what, how shows sell themselves. Oh, I'm such a wuss. Uh, for example, because you know, you know you look at the Radio Times and you see those kind of four-line or two-line billings that are supposed to sell the show to you in a couple of lines. Well, we saw, we saw one. It's a, it's a daily show that appears on BBC Two. Uh, it's called The Puppy's New Adventure. On Monday, uh, an army of gigantic ants. Tuesday, seals are threatened by poachers. Uh, Wednesday, the puppy visits Berlin. <laughs> Thursday, my personal favourite, they befriend a flying puppy. <laughs> And on Friday, things get a little nasty with a, <laughs> a local raccoon, so, so there you go. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, there we go. There's some, yesterday saw the first ever outdoor version of Stars in Their Eyes. Uh, 
riot police uh, ran into dry ice. Moments later, came back as the cast of Hair. It's very <laughs> delightful. <laughs> and there they are going in again. <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to sing Aquarius. Right. Uh, OK, well, now let's get... To, all right, let's just get to the main meat of this thing. It's a very big day, mainly for our runner, our production uh, uh, guy, Nick Oakley, who's on work experience. It's the day that he finds out his degree results, and he's very, very kindly agreed to find out the results live on the show. Uh, but he has laid down one condition, which is that he is allowed to leave straight afterwards to go and celebrate or commiserate or whatever it happens to be. So please, uh, an especially warm welcome for our runner, Nick Oakley. Nick, come on. Thank you. So, just, just, uh, are you, are you genuinely nervous? I'm shitting myself. Are you really? <laughs> uh, so, so just tell us now for now. <laughs> do you require? You know, we have a nurse standing by. Is there anything that we need there? No. We do. Vera, where's Vera the nurse? There she is over there. Vera, could you just stand by for this? Would you mind just sort of just? Would you mind just standing here? This is Vera, our nurse. I have no idea why we have a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> So, now, just tell us very, very briefly, what was the uh, course that you did? I did a degree in drama and theatre studies at Kent, University at, of Kent. At Kent, yeah. and it was a three-year course? Four-year course. A four-year four year course. course, and the results have been out now for a couple of hours, yes? They have. Everyone else knows apart from me. Apart from you. <laughs> so it's very, very kind of you to do this. Is, is there anything... Are you, are you expecting to do well, is the main question? Well, I think everyone else is expecting me to do well, which puts the pressure on a bit. So. Right. So either way, you're screwed, basically. Yeah. If, you don't, <laughs> if you do well, then it's to be expected, and if you don't, then it's disappointing. It's, it's good. All it's right, good. OK. So what we've got on the line now, uh, we've got uh, Nick's tutor, Alan Beck, who's on the line, live from the University of Kent in Canterbury. Uh, where is Alan? I'm here on the line. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Alan. Alan. Hello. Alan looks like he should work for News from South East as well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Alan, thank you very much for, uh, for, for taking part in this. What kind of a student has Nick been over the four years? Well, if I give you a quick dramatic review of Nicholas's career in the drama department, um, you know, he was entertaining and fluent, particularly later <laughs> in the pub. And I think we overstretched him a bit. If he's standing up, you see he's got rather long legs. Um, but I'm... <laughs> and the one thing I want to say is we did a soap on the radio course, a radio soap, and he wrote five episodes and directed them, and he put lots of sex into it and nudity, and it was on radio. <laughs> so, obviously, he's got a lot of imagination there. Right. Theatre of the mind. Exactly. Yes. Um, so, uh, and, well, I think if nothing else, Nick would do very well in a boy band, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I think he'd be the one with a successful solo career. I think it'd be the Nick zone, yes. All right. Well, now, so I guess now we have to get to it. So, Alan, uh, please reveal to us Nick's results. Well, the Board of Examiners have sat and debated about Nick and decided to award Nick a, fir a first-class degree. Wow! Yes. 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 Fantastic. <laughs> Wow! No way! There you go, you get that. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Fantastic! There you go, well done. Look out through there, you go. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you got a first, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. A first, <laughs> a first class honours degree in math, in, not in maths, in theatre. <laughs> if only. In, if only. <laughs> in theatre and, and drama. Congratulations. Now, now, now go and make me a coffee. OK. <laughs> Nick Oakley, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, fantastic news. Are we going to see him do the coffee? Fabulous. All right, uh, we've got an, oh, some more picture gags here. We, we couldn't really work this out. It's just, it's an Italian guy, uh, very pissed off about losing the football. Uh, we just couldn't, he's... <laughs> it's, my, it's my Hungarian dresser, Steve, getting ready for tomorrow night.